Well, howdy, partners. Welcome back to Beaverton. The Great Dam is working marvelously. We're never gonna run into water problems ever again. Also, throughout the dry periods, we can supply our industry with power. Our industry district has grown real large. We're processing all kind of materials. It's amazing. Unfortunately, it means that we're consuming more wood. But thanks to those brain beavers, we've developed a new form of irrigation, vastly expanding our wood production. Things are going marvelously. <laughs> A lot of our beavers have been dying of old age. I think we need to get some more young bloods in here. We're gonna have to expand bigger and farther. But to be able to do that, we're gonna try to reclaim this blasted wasteland. They've got an idea to bring greenery to the entire landscape. That's our dream now. Also, I feel like we need to give some entertainment and leisure time to our beavers. Our little campfire ground is not quite cutting it. We're gonna try and build them a carousel. A bam! Welcome back to Timberborn, everybody. Uh, man, things are going pretty well. Uh, so we're kind of surviving uh, this drought. Uh, water isn't amazing, but we're kind of like harvesting a bunch. Do you harvest water? Collect it? I don't know. Uh, we've got uh, loads left in the tank. Not as much as it could be, but I think more than enough to get us through the next couple of days. Uh, these guys should be fine. But I mean now, just purely because of these symbols, might get rid of these buildings. I'm kind of thinking it'd be a big job, but put an entire row of water collection up in here instead. I think would be kind of cool. It'll be a lot of building though, because we have to build towers all the way up. God, just like, what a nightmare. Uh, but I think that is going to be okay. I think it'll be fine. What are you worried about? Okay, we, I want to connect up the map a little bit more. I do want a staircase that will come up here. If these guys can build that, maybe they can reach and place that dynamite? I don't know if they can. It might be too far. Maybe that set of stairs will let them kind of like just... You know what I mean? Jump up there and, and plop, it, plop it down. Uh, so yeah, we want to come up here because I've got another project that I want to work on, which will be kind of wood intensive, but not the most wood intensive. A bit of, bit of both. Bit of column A, bit of column B. And man, I really need to deal with this. Because my dream is, I want to max out all these bars. Carousel, super need that. Tribute of Ingenuity, we can build that. Shrubs, we can put shrubs everywhere. Okay, a dynamite. So yeah. And get on the staircase. Right, this is actually some pretty, pretty prime real estate. Uh, we'll want a staircase going up eventually, but short term, you guys come like this, and let's, do you want to chop those? Honestly, I don't care about them. Just destroy it. We have, we have a lot of wood coming into the tank right now. Uh, we're barely harvesting what we have. I, I kind of need a few more, um, people with jobs. But the dream over here will be, I want to kind of levy up this area. Do you want it at like just a right angle? It's kind of more cost intensive. Fabulous. Just fabulous. Okay, we're kind of, we're connecting up the world. Maybe we want a guy coming along around here as well. You may want the staircase going up. Oh, we could actually do the little, um... Beep boop stare. You know what I mean? The old uh, back and forwards. You know what I mean? The old back and forwards. That guy. Everyone's favorite. Because I kind of like, I want to try and feed some water into this. F turn this into a big pool. Just once again, another big reserve. And then see if we can run some channels out and about. And just see how that kind of comes together. Uh, you don't have any power. I could open the floodgates. And just let water flow a little bit. Uh, you guys are still flooded. They're still pumping. Yeah, water's fine. You know, we're going up in quantity. Also, up here. Build me a levee worthy of Beaverton. Okay, we've only got one day left before the flood. The not flood, drought ends. Uh, water should return. We're God, I'm kind of low on people. 
I think we've got to get a couple of houses in. Is it insanity to... Oh, it's so frivolous, but it's kind of funny. Like, connect that up. That's kind of fun. Uh, and then... I just think it'd be kind of cute to have... Oh, wait, although, do we go up another layer? I just think it'd be kind of fun, like... Because we can get some of these big houses, but they need to come up another layer. So we can do that. They need some support. I need another staircase coming up and going along, and then... That could, in theory, connect up over here somehow. I kind of like the sort of bridge, bridge vibe. Yeah, okay, right, big guy, you're too big. I'm sorry, I love you, but you're too big. That's kind of fun, kind of into that. And then they can come down here, beep, 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 uh, walk around. Uh, that leaves room for a little house. Yeah, I'm just gonna like, just plop down some, just some stuff. Let's just get a path. Um, Sometimes I get a bit kind of ingrained in wanting to design stuff, so it's like perfect. But uh, I get so like bogged down by like trying, trying to do that, that I end up like not really making anything, and actually ends up not even looking that great, to be honest. Uh, and then just like dumping stuff down out of pure function. Uh oh, are you drying up? Oh, you are. That is sad. That is really sad. Uh, so they want roof and rooftop terraces now if we can get up another layer onto here somehow how would we want to do that we could give them all the rooftop terraces they desire it's kind of wild uh but it gives us some room to like put some junk there i kind of want to kill off a bit of the buildings on this side is that madness is there a better way like, get a couple of these boys in, get some, like, little roofs and stuff. Maybe we can even fit an extra house in or something. Uh, I'm gonna have a double. The old double. Uh, that can just do, do what you like. Uh, something like this. I don't want it too uniform. Sure, some of those. And what do roofs look like? Decorations? Two by two. Maybe that should be another house. That should be kind of fun. Uh, bonk. Okay, I think this will be fun. I think this is this is going to be good. Uh, when it all gets built, we'll come back to it, and it will just look fabulous. I like this like little hive. Uh, like, are you familiar with um, the what is it? Kowloon Walled City. That's what I want. I want my beavers to live there. Uh, I don't think it's a super super fun, nice place to live. Not that it doesn't exist anymore. Um, but it's kind of like a, a whole load of sort of like tower blocks, but they sort of like merge them all together. Uh, there's something very like kind of, you know, it's weird to say because it's a real or was a real place, but quite like dystopian about it. And you know, fun, fun aesthetic. Oh, okay. Drought. The drought's over. Our water should be returning. Wow, those terraces. Looking, looking good. Also, they're very close to where everyone lives, which is pretty chill. Uh, we need to get, like, a bit more stuff around around here. We need to kind of, like, spread the fireplaces out. I, I kind of want to decentralize future houses. I want some, like, little pods that people can live in. Okay, water's coming up, which is great. Big fan of that. Ah, okay, right, the bridge. The bridge to the little island is completed. Very cool. Um, although, actually, prioritize. Um, I really need this stuff kind of done. Well, it's going to take them a while because they can only kind of get to one side of it. Maybe I do need to build the kind of funky stair. How did we do it again? Okay, yeah, pretty painless. That will connect up. We might be able to do some kind of fun mega bridge between there. Like, we don't need it, but we can do it. Uh, and is that, isn't that the reason why you do most things just because you can like make dinosaurs i know you're there john hammond listening <laughs> uh no i'm sure no one here has accidentally created life that then escaped and then ate loads of people especially kids god do you remember that jurassic world like a lot of people got eaten in that oh this place is looking cool okay i like the 
roofs. I kind of want to like maybe expand out and get a bit more framework just so it's more of a like an anthill. Maybe having like two right next to each other doesn't super work. I kind of want a couple more rooftops. They're like a bit more like higgledy piggledy around here. Uh, food's looking great. Food's going up. Water's looking pretty fine. Oh god, like man, I was just wondering like, how's the industry working? Water isn't flowing. But yeah, this, the heavy lifting that one windmill has to do. God, it's just insanity. The Giganto Reservoir has finally filled. Water is now flowing into the main area. Oh, we did get down to the second line of pubs. It's interesting. Are you... Ah! Oh. Okay, it's now flowing down our irrigation route, which is pretty, pretty good. Kind of into that. Right, this should now top up my pool, giving my trees a bit of extra life. Uh, oh no, the new dam. Oh god, every time we do have to make a sacrifice. I'm so sorry. Who are you? A boozer? Maybe you shouldn't be drinking on the job. <gasps> He's free! <laughs> okay. See ya! When this fills, right, some will flow out of there. But also, we have installed a levee under that. So that should allow an amount of water to come that way. And we're going to begin um, sending water everywhere else. See ya! So this should allow the water to now flow into this area. Okay, so this should just fill this this part up. Um, I'm not too worried about it going anywhere deeper. Like, God, we could like run a little channel out if we were super good. Cool, blow that up. Water will go there eventually. If we can like feed it all the way around, gotta be careful of kind of it going off the map. But just when we have plenty of water, I kind of want to use it a little more productively. Oh, I think the first bit of water is kind of flowing into here. So one day, maybe, this will all be filled. But that's going to take a long time. It's because it does leach out of there first. And like only a bit kind of even makes it that far. What I could do is... Put a single high. What is a metal platform? We've got a lot of metal. 500 science. Sure. Let's work that out in a second. Uh, put a floodgate there. That way we can control where the water's going. Just to force more to actually come down into the area. Oh, that's kind of fun. Build a platform on metal. Now, how the heck are we doing this? Let's just try and problem solve. That will... Right, so if we come up here, you can come to a front door over there. Uh, you can walk out this way. I need to kind of come around. Maybe you don't even want to come out that way. Sure. Why the hell not? Although maybe it makes sense just to put the bridge on the platform below. No. No, I like this. This is cute. Uh, and that always wins. Uh, here you go. Bonk, bonk. Great. That leaves us space for some kind of housing. Okay, it's got a rustic charm to it. That's what I'm going to call it. Rustic charm. <laughs> God, does it just look garbage? The answer is maybe. Uh, oh, hello. Close, please. Right, hopefully that drives all of the water flow out of there, and that might fill. God, we're like four days into this cycle already, and bad times. Ah, we're ready to get another house. See ya! And... Housing. Big house. I feel like this will be fine. What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could possibly happen? We still don't have spare people, but a lot of, a lot of baby beavers are coming out. Okay, time for more flooding. Lammo. Water flow into here. Nothing can super go wrong. Uh, maybe you do want a little, little stair. But boom, farmlands. Uh, right. Just demolish all these resources. I, I don't super want to collect them. Cool. Okay, that greenifies another bit of the map. Now for us to 
get water into these areas, it's going to be a bit more fiddly, because we're going to have to build... At least we can actually blow up channels. But we'll need to put, uh, like, a levee in, so it doesn't get, like, super flood. How are you guys looking? The bridge is looking just fabulous. People are building around there. Babies are coming. Love it. All of this. Okay, yeah, yeah I'm into this. This is kind of fun. Uh, right, you've got, like, a little hole. So they were complaining they want beaver statues. Decoration. Beaver statue. Oh, wait, instead of a beaver statue, have a wanna. And get yourself a little rooftop terrace. Grand. Just beautiful. Maybe they can have a beaver statue on their roof. <laughs> Maybe you could build that. I don't know. Uh, right, rooftop terraces. Okay, we're kind of ticking it. Not doing great. We've only got a couple. Oh, they won't be able to reach. God, I'm never going to be able to get people uh, up there. So I'm going to have to get rid of those beaver statues. We'll give them some other ones. Okay, we've got some bombs planted. Big bada boom. Very cool. Uh, will these get flooded? Probably not. Here, how many people go into these? Nine. Oh god, actually, maybe we're growing too big. Food's still fine. What are you worried about? Okay, like the big pond is sort of filling up pretty nicely. Uh, these little submerged houses, super cute. Okay, food is rapidly going down. Uh, maybe we should pay a little more attention to that as a mechanic. How would farms look up here? God, we've got so many cogs as well. Jeez, man, like so good at this game. Ooh. Okay, but I kind of don't like that as a layout. Um, let's do something a little more jazzy. What do we want? Carrots are the fastest to grow. Man, but like, of all of our crop fields... Okay, we've got that for carrots, which is pretty good. That's potatoes. Do we have another potato somewhere? Potato there. So all of those potatoes... Do we have a lot of potatoes in the bank? Oh, we do actually have quite a few potatoes. We need more cookhouses. Or maybe our cookhouses just aren't on line. Grills. Oh, we've got like two. But the wheat... Like, this is our only wheat production, and it just gives us a vast quantity. Maybe people prefer eating wheat. I don't know. Um, personally, big fan of bread. Uh, but we can get, like, a little bit more. A little bit more of that stuff going on. Uh, I think you guys can just be... Car Caratopia. <laughs> okay, this might be this might be a little frivolous. <laughs> also, the amount, like, the amount of, like, going up and down stairs... This is insanity. That's too many. And they're, like, so far from storage. I might need to, like, kill some off immediately. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, maybe one hauling post. That's what we've got. There's, like, 13 down here that sort of work. Uh, I'm not going to delete those yet because we might want them in the future. Uh, but get, like, do we want just, like, some water tanks up there? Oh, okay, right, people are dying of old age, but people are actually growing up now, and we're kind of flickering. We're getting closer to actually kind of filling all these jobs. I just need, like, ten more people to grow up. God, we've got 90 kids in the tank. When they are ready to, like, join the workforce, industrialization will be amazing. Oh, I do kind of like it, man. Like, this game just has such a great aesthetic. What do they call it? Like, lumber punk or something. Super rad. Okay, the drought has started. Luckily, we've just managed to finish our new... giant water pump structure. Oh god, is this just like madness? It's really far away from, like, civilization. So there's a lot more hauling to be done. Also, not actually a lot of people are working up here at the moment. So there are problems that this could cause. Uh, it can, like, destabilize sort of these areas. We could mitigate that a little bit by putting more dynamite down, making these, like, double deep. Uh, it's a six-day drought. We don't have a ton of water in the bank, but we should be fine. Food is actually... We're kind of going through food a lot faster now. That's, like, five days' worth of food. Hmm. And I want, really want to run a little more irrigation. 
Also, I, I'm kind of worried that when this thing actually fills, it's going to flood. If we open this to like 0.5, so water can flow out of there, this will kind of fill with as much and this will eventually flood, maybe? Oh god, I don't know. I don't know. It's like maths. It's like a like a fun maths maths challenge. Jeez, I think I need more um more farmhouses. As although these only have oh they do have four workers. They are struggling. I think four because that area kind of comparable uh, to this, and we've got four there, and that manages to keep it turning over pretty nicely. So I think that makes sense. Uh, also, to focus on planting. <gasps> oh, we have unemployed people. Oh, the dream. The dream is alive. People are hungry. People are thirsty. I care not. Because we now have the unemployed. Which sounds, you know, not like the society you want, but this is the society I want. Oh, I put dynamite down. God, I had a plan here. So we just blow it up. Make a fun little, little ring. It's like, it's bonfire now. And this. I want to get rid of this for some reason. It's got some wheat, it's got some metal. What else? Gears? We've got a lot of gears. Goodbye. Because we should actually build <laughs> one of the things that we are planning to build. Tribute to Ingenuity. Oh, it's the big, like, clockwork guy. Love him. Oh, but don't we want him to run into something? Maybe we should be using that to power the carousel. Uh... Oh, okay, so real cheap. Where do you want to be? Well, heck, let's just get that Temple of Ingenuity anyway. Uh, I could do with... They do want some of the other guys. Do you want a Big Jeff somewhere? Can we get a Big Jeff up here? Do you know what? Boom. Here, I feel like this will be a fairly busy thoroughfare. A lot of people are taking the staircase now. Boom. Have a Big Jeff. Oh, this thing doesn't generate power. It needs power. Oh, fork. Okay, if I've planned this right, we can blow this up. And we're not going to flood everything. Right, we blow you up. We let a little bit of water through. Now. Water will come down. It might sploosh around a bit. Uh, but, oh, uh, that's not a thing. Also, maybe let's stop flowing water. Because that's going to get real full. Ah, oh, but it doesn't look nicer that this is all green. Okay. Uh, great. Oh, just tiny little, just the tiniest little, little bit of flood. Uh, please prioritize this. Number one. Good job. God, it's just insanity building this here. This does not make any sense. Uh, take those out. We can have water wheels. A cog we can <laughs> sort of goofily feed down the side of the mountain until it plugs into there. Maybe we get some windmills up there as well. This seems just the stupidest idea. Like, just the most complicated way to do a relatively simple plan. Hey, the drought's ended. Uh, we still have water in the bank. No one died. Also, see, this was running like... God, these things. Productivity, 9%. Uh, these things are not efficient. I guess because they just have to haul so far. And, like, this guy gets real full real fast. Wow. Although we did drain this entire thing. These guys, much better efficiency. Uh... Yeah, actually, pretty good. Pretty legit. Um, how did this bit dry up entirely? Oh, I guess because it can flow lower into there. Sure. Okay. Why are you flooded? What flooded you? Where did that all come from? Wait, can it flow through that corner piece? That's bad news. Okay, that, like, their productivity's gone up. Like, 80%, 75, 65... It kind of bounces around a little bit. Also, these, like, hauling posts are not even full. Now that I've got spare beavers, um, I do want to keep on top of that. Like, food's great. 
that water will be perfect. Okay, hopefully. Right, we have our <laughs> just insanity uh, staircase. Plug that in. Uh, what do you need? Paper. Okay, so this thing actually requires... What is it? 600 power. These do 180 each. Uh, I can get a couple more windmills in, I guess. In theory, this should provide us, like, I don't know. What is it? 760 power? Something like that? I don't know. Uh, it won't be able to run forever because, although I've kind of like double mined this ditch out, the water doesn't have anywhere to go. So maybe this will activate our <laughs> temple. So, water's flowing. Oh, it's turning. It's turning. It's turning. 540. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I thought like the whole thing was gonna spin or something weird. It just, well, it just makes its cog ears move. Okay, wow. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I like this little waterfall feature. It's ridiculous. Powering this. I do need to make like a channel. I gotta kind of like make this water flow out of here. I think if I run it kind of like through the field, we can actually <laughs> dump it out there. Uh, but yeah, it's flooding, <laughs> so we've got to turn it off. Uh, oh, short term, actually flowing into there is pretty good. Oh god, the temple's flooded. Oh, my guys, <laughs> it's just, it's <laughs> so ridiculous. Right, well we sort of flooded everywhere just so we could make this guy's ears spin. I hope everyone is happy. Okay, we've, we've flooded like half the, half the island. Uh... The temple, we had to turn it off just because um, water isn't going anywhere. That should be a relatively easy fix. Um, man, this thing is ridiculous. Just ridiculous. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, everybody. See ya!